Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. I've been gone a few days, took a couple days off. No big deal, no big deal. I'm back. I brought some uh, brought some goodies. We're going to do some things that are going to make the channel even better. First thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to do a simple walkthrough on how to make your 164 scale parts with a 3D printer. So here we go. Right now we are working in Tinkercad. This is a browser-based CAD program where we can build our objects. Now it might sound like it's a, it's a big deal building this kind of stuff, but it's actually pretty easy and it's actually fun. It's like doing Legos. So check this out. You just grab one of these primitive shapes on the side, drop it down, and you'll be able to manually adjust everything to whatever you need. Pretty basic, pretty basic, I know. I've got the brown crew cab 4x4 in front of me right now, so I'm just grabbing the measurements from the box. And we are going to make a camper today, like a truck camper. Alright, so we need 24 wide and we need 38 long. So let's do this. Boop. There. So that is technically the inside of our bed, if you can picture that. Now I do need to make clearance for the wheel wells. I'm not too worried about that. Let's check this out. We got another square here. I'm going to go over here to hole. And what we're going to do is just make sure that it's going to be high enough to fill out our wheel wells. You could actually draw out your, your own wheel wells if you really wanted to, but I, it's not going to be necessary. So, so right now I have my little hole prim in there. All I got to do now is select them both and then I'm going to go up here. This is the group button and it groups them together and what happens is it cuts it out. Yeah, so that's how you make shapes. So now we can uh, continue with our camper build and it'll be real easy. Tinkercad is probably the easiest program you could use. I wish it was a little bit more complex and I mean there is other programs that I could be using but this is a this is a good one to just showcase. I can kind of take my calipers here and do my measurements on how high I think everything should be. It looks kind of silly, but that should sit in the box quite nicely. All we have to do is uh, make another box here, and it'll be our, our sleeper area. Move this out a little bit more. So that's our basic, very basic shape of our truck camper. So now... Let's try to retro this thing up a little bit. So I don't even know if I'm using this program the right way. A lot of this stuff I just kind of freestyle on. And by that I mean I'm not really looking at the measurements and stuff. But you got to be creative in this program. So right up here we find ourselves, I want to put a curved edge on here. So, in order to do that, we're going to have to grab a cylinder. We're going to have to turn it 90 degrees. Where's my 90? This thing's looking pretty octagony, so we just increase the sides mm, till it gets as smooth as it's going to get. So, the measurements for every single prim are down here. So, I can just change my sizes right here. Well, that's way easier. Yeah, see? See, I'm just learning, just like you. Mm. Mm. Let's turn this back end here into a nice little circle. Doesn't look like much right now. We can move this in. So I can go down here to my snap grid. And I can make it less than... A millimeter so let's try half a millimeter and see it's still rough okay I'm gonna turn that to 0.1 millimeter and then you can just kind of freehand what you need to do here the old program I'm used to used to using would have uh, an XYZ for the position of all of these items 
right here on the side so you could just line up everything just by typing in kind of like coordinates so it's a little bit more advanced but I mean I think it was easier to use than this all right let's see how that looks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything we got now I'm gonna pick a new color something nice like gray and then I'm gonna hit group and I'm gonna watch my lines all disappear now if anything was not lined up perfectly if this little circle -y thing we had going on up here was sticking out on one side you would still see the body like the joint so I don't see any joints here so everything is looking real good so far I'm gonna make a prim for myself that I can save that is that crappy siding that's on all of these things that tin siding right you know what I'm talking about so I got a picture of it on my phone here I'm just gonna bring it up and I am going to make it I'm gonna go right to the end. Pink. So unfortunately it's gonna get more tricky because even though we get all this, we'll finish all our siding up and get this mounted. Now we have the task of cutting out these circular marks again. And that's gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit of a doozy. And we'll get this whole thing sided. We're going to copy this. Control C and then Control V. We're going to spin that around. Bring it back over here. But I want to save this prim so I'm gonna I got it highlighted right now so I'm gonna export as an object these bazillion prims we got going on it's gonna crash the old tinkercad maybe but it's obviously better to do both sides at once so that's what we're gonna do just gonna make this a hole do, 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 do. zoom that back there. Let's try that. Group the whole thing. This is going to take a second because we got a bazillion pieces. There we go. That's looking classy. You see what I mean though about doing Legos? Like it's kind of like that. Whatever you can think of, you can build. Just got to have a kind of an idea on how to make it.
gonna show you one last little thing here before I just kind of go on my own and I'll do a little bit of a time lapse. To cut out this piece right here, we need to create what I would consider a tool. So we're gonna make a square, we're gonna make a circle, Uh, connect those two. Boom. Oh, I got one more little piece there. So now we've created this little ramp. We can use it as a hole. And that's going to snip that off and give that, give us that nice rounded edge. So before I use it, I'm going to make a copy because we need one at the front. So I'll just group these together and we'll have a look and see, see if it's going to look good or if it's going to look trashy or what. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's just what we needed. So we'll go over here. We will do the same thing. Pretty old and crappy. I like it. Copy this one again. There, about time. Got that gross look in front. It's perfect. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of a time lapse here and I'm just going to go to work on this, try to keep this video moving along.
All right, so we got some window trims, windows. Now you're thinking, okay, this is one big solid block. That's not going to be good, right? I agree. So just like everything else, actually, let's do this. Against my better judgment, I'm going to copy this. We're going to grab one of these corners. And we're just going to shrink this down. We're going to turn it into a hole. We're going to put it inside. Our build. Uh, it's probably not the best way to do it. Actually, we're going to do it. Uh, I'm just going to use blocks. Block will be better. A little bit safer. A little more control. We can actually see what the measurements are. And when we link those, that center will be hollow. See you in 10 minutes. Because <laughs> we're going to crash Tinkercad today. I've got too many prims here for this browser program. And yeah, next time we're going to use something a little bit more meant for this kind of thing. This Tinkercad is more for just kind of messing around. Maybe coming up with shapes. I don't, I don't even know. It's easy though. For beginners, you know, for you guys that want to get into this, Tinkercad is just fine. Oh, finally. All right, let's, uh, let's have a look in there and see how terrible it is. That's not bad. That's, that's not too bad. I mean, it looks pretty clean. A little line, not too worried about it. You gotta make sure you make some of this stuff pretty big because this is 0.69 of a millimeter wide. So if you go too small with that, when it goes to print, it is impossible. Nice healthy frame. Control C, Control V. I'll put some up here. How's that look? Looks pretty good, right? I think I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'll shift, select multiple, control C, control V. Put our pieces. Okay, and now we're gonna link all of that together and get those snapped in there so we don't move them accidentally. One little situation that I see we're gonna have is our truck has a tailgate on it. So to put this camper on, we're either gonna have to cut the tailgate off, which I'm totally good with. If I planned for it to be like a camper truck forever, Option B is cut a void up in here so that the tailgate and the back of the box can just kind of tuck up in there and you just don't see it. Cool thing about this is you could get as detailed as you want or as you don't want. All right, good, we're rendered. Good, I'll get back inside here, finish off this. This into a hole. Yoink, yoink. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. How many of you guys are pricing out printers at the moment? Having all these window trims is going to make all the difference in the world. Be a window. We're still waiting for this to snip out. And then I got to cut this little flap off here. Not a big deal. Right now, this whole big bottom base part 
right here this is all solid resin so it's probably not a bad idea because this could be a really crispy crackly model so I'll probably leave it alone it's not very big so it's not going to use up a lot of resin at all maybe on the front here just for fun I'll take the scribble here and I can just put that anywhere and it takes me here and I could be like Jimmy pew, pew. Pew. later so let's uh let's go with that Got a nice Jimmy prim I guess it wouldn't be a prim it's more like a sculpture I don't know all the technical jargons but I do know we can shrink this down and we can slap this on the front got to make sure it's thick enough that them letters are going to be raised yeah. Make sure it prints its own layer like that. Jimmy edition. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like it. Snap all that together. And when that's done, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna move on to the next step. Obviously we could have went a lot further with this. Options are endless, absolutely endless. You can make propane tanks, you can make ladders, you can make everything, but I, I feel like we've reached kind of the limits of the Tinkercad browser here. As soon as this gets built, we're gonna take it over to the Slicer program and I'll show you how to get it set up and ready to get printing. Okay, this is Photon Workshop. This is the Slicer program that came with my Photon S printer. So we're just going to import our file, like so. There's our camper. Now this program, what it does is it basically prepares this thing to be printed by cutting into a whole bunch of slices, as you will see, but it also helps us add supports to our model. So the friendliest way to print this model is probably going to be upside down like this. So we got it flipped over and I can select it. I'm going to go over here to the supports area and I'm going to just throw on auto support and we're going to let it do its thing. And this is basically going to put all the little supports that it figures it needs to print this thing without it collapsing on itself. There we go, it's got its supports. I don't like this one, this back one. I wish I could remove it because it's pressed up right against our siding. So it's gonna to be tough to remove that clean because it looks like it's filled in right to the bottom of our little siding bumps. So that kind of sucks. And some of these are kind of not that great either unfortunately, but everything on the bottom here will clean up really nice. And then the tree of life, which has formed in the inside right here, that might not be too bad. So for the sake of the video, we're gonna go with this, even though it's not ideal, we're gonna go with it anyways. So after we got our supports where we want them, we are going to go up here to the top left and we are going to slice this thing. This is where we pick our file name. I'll just go Jimmy on that and we would save it to our little USB that comes with our printer. Right now it's making the actual file of all the individual slices that this thing's going to have to print. So we can go to the preview and we can look at every individual slice. So it's going to start with the base. I'm going to do the supports. And that does the roof of the camper. The walls, you see the windows forming. The sleeper's done and then the tree of life will start. And then it'll do the bottom of the camper, etc., etc., until we're done. So, yeah, three. Whoa, sorry. 
716 layers. So this is going to be a fairly long print, but that's okay. So we got our file on our USB stick, and that concludes this portion of the video. We're getting off the computer now, and we're going over to the workstation, and we're going to get our printer set up. And all I got to do is go to print, find my file. I got a couple other things on here. This one's Jimmy's Love Camper. There it is. There's a little preview. Just going to double check that our plate is mounted securely. Yes, it is. We're going to hit go. There she is, looking sharp. All right, now we gotta do a little bit of cleanup here and carefully remove my platform. Looks like we had a little bit of an oopsie doopsie being the first time printing this, I get it. If you remember, this whole top part was solid resin and these walls were pretty thin. So if we look from the side, our walls actually started to buckle a little bit. And I don't think that happened from me just flipping it over because you can see it's pretty, it's pretty rigid. So what I'm going to have to do is go back into uh, Tinkercad and I'm going to have to beef up these walls a little bit and I'll probably do another print. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take this any further today. It's actually my first time printing something this large. It's a shame it didn't totally go exactly as planned, but that's kind of how these 3D printing things go until you learn the ropes. And like I said, I'm a complete newbie at this, so actually I'm not even surprised. Still very cool to, uh, you know, build something that comes out of your head and then see it in person. So that is pretty awesome. So I'm going to make my necessary changes and then I'm going to do a reprint tonight and then tomorrow we will take off exactly where we left off and we'll prime this up and paint it and detail it and get it on that truck. How's that sound? If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and I will see you tomorrow guys. Bye!